regarding implant dentistry, uh, which I picked up again, having an uh, integrated system like the Axios, um, speaking with my computer software on the fabrication side and the rendering of the images and bringing intraoral scans uh, together was just mind-blowing. I have never felt so confident before placing implants in the posterior mandible. What we all know what is lurking there underneath the gums and uh, inside the bone, a very important nerve that nobody wants to touch, not even come close to it. I was um, definitely scared to do this procedure, placing implants um, close to anatomical structures without the CBCT. That's why I never did it. However, the implant industry that I'm performing is to 99% now guided. Everything goes into a workflow where the patient comes in, we take a CBCT, we take an intra all scan, merge that in, in the software. It can be done in, um, in CCAT, that's a specific uh, implant software that we have that can be done in the Galileo's software. It is um, possible actually that I um, take a CBCT and send it out to an implant um, planning software. These all um, accept uh, the CBCT, the DICOM um, digital files, and you can provide that workflow also outside the office. However, we mostly produce our surgical guides inside the office. Renders, the image quality um, that the Axios renders uh, compared to other systems is phenomenal. So I have no doubt whether um, the sinus floor is somewhere close to my um, osteotomy or the nerve, any types of um, vital structure is close to where I would like to place my implant. The rendering is so complete that I can measure how much bone crafting I actually would have to provide for the patient so that I can tell my assistant what type of membrane, how big the membrane should be, and what the bone crafting um, amount uh, should be provided for the patient. Um, there has been days when um, the patient who is not sedated in my office, but with local anesthetic provided, leaves the office and said, was that implant done? Can you show me proof that you have done the implant? Because this was compared to other approaches in their previous experience, a completely different, harmless, very comfortable experience. I would never go back to um, any other system. Um, Axios and what a big improvement is compared to the Galileos, for instance, is that we have not only the 3D rendering available, but also a 2D. Why would that be of concern? Well, we have some patients that are not able to accept intra all imaging with the sensors that we have in the office because of anatomic structure like tori or exostosis. Some people just really have a bad gag reflex. Having that um, system in a 2D mode provides you with a phenomenal sharp image of, for instance, extra all bite wings. The other as aspect of the uh, Axios um, is CEREC. And at that time, it was um, based and provided by Serona. Aspects of digital dentistry with Serona, with, then, with the CEREC system. And the CEREC system combines, or I would maybe say, is one big piece of puzzle coming into restorative dentistry and also surgical dentistry. I mentioned before that I really like to do implants now because it's straightforward when you have a great imaging system that shows you all the structures and when you have the detail of the intraoral uh, scanning, it all combines, it all merges in the software and it provides you then with the phenomenal workflow that I mentioned before. Now, we talked about implant dentistry and the time that I'm spending now for implant um, planning, for implant surgery has shrunk, made me more productive, made me also more available for other tasks. Having the Axios, having the CEREC, it provides you with numerous um, opportunities to treat the patient 
with airway appliances. I just want to mention one workflow. When you take a CBCT of the patient, you take an intraoral scan of the patient, you can actually dial in position of the lower jaw so that the patient would be placed in a therapeutic position to render a intraoral appliance for obstructive sleep appliance. We actually measure the success afterwards. How can we do that? Well, we see actually if the patient's airway has changed. Each part of the puzzle works to its best and fullest and the outcome for the provider and even more important for the patient is superb and reproducible. So this is the standard that I like to offer my services to our patients, the highest level. Let's look into the future a little bit. What we're doing right now is just the start of possibilities. There was a, an infection at the root tip. However, there was no nerve canal visible and the patient um, is on medication. So the patient has um, specific medical conditions that we could not extract the tooth just to place an implant. This patient could not be treated like that with an extraction and an implant. However, the rendering of the x-rays showed that there was no root canal treatment possible. No root canal treatment possible in a traditional way. However, I've learned um, being exposed to digital dentistry that like an implant and very comparable to an implant dentistry dental procedure, you can use the root canal instruments in a guided way. So there is no root canal visible, however the technology can render you a way and provide you with a way to do a guided root canal treatment. Now the patient was treated with this method and the patient could save the tooth. The patient did not have to go through uh, surgery and extraction. And um, we feel very good about that because that's what the patient needed. And in other ways, it would have been very difficult to treat that patient.